Hola amigos, bien o no. Y saludos desde Medellín. Eh, como aquí tiene mucha lluvia. Entonces, el tema de hoy es cómo, cómo practicamos nuestra, nuestra nueva lengua. En, uh, como aquí, en, en un, un tiempo que le, las condiciones no están, como dice, optimal. Ese es el tema de hoy. So, uh, hello again from a, a very rainy Medellin, um, which in a way is rather welcome because it has been quite dry the last couple of weeks. But um, the theme for the day really is what do you do when the conditions aren't exactly optimal, but you need to try and practice some of your language? Well, what's the best way to do it? Because rather like today when we got really bad weather, kind of limits what you can do. And maybe um, some part of your day has gone a bit out of control and it's not the best or the easiest to do things. How do you do it? Because um, at some level, some type of practice every day is really what's going to make the difference to help us improve, uh, reach our goal of fluency a bit faster. Um, well, my tip for this really is to um, one, try and establish a pattern so that at least you have some time of the day, even if it is quite a short part of time of the day, where you know you will do a bit of practice. So rather like when I make these videos, um, I can't always be sure exactly when in the day I'm going to make the video, but I make sure that I do. So even if the weather is bad, I still know I have to make the video. And again, rather like these videos, they're not necessarily an awful lot of time. It's probably like 10 minutes, something like that. If you allow within the things you need to practice, some parts of those tasks you can do in like five, 10 minutes. This could be like reading another paragraph of, uh, of your book you're reading, or maybe practicing just a couple of lines of dialogue that you want to bring into new conversations. Or even listening to uh, you know another podcast or something, something like that, and not get too worried that oh you've only done ten minutes today, because the point is you've kept your pattern of doing something that day, no matter how chaotic, how mixed up, how problematic it's been. Um, I think the idea is to be consistent so that you know that every day you have done something to move the project forward a bit. All right, some days, I like today, it's not the, uh, perhaps not the optimum conditions. Um, but if you've still done something, it's not a loss. It's not a washout. You've still achieved that one particular thing. And you can take comfort from that and bring that forward into tomorrow and get ready when you have a bit more time to maybe do two or three readings of things during the day and every now and again you might get a day when you really do get a couple of hours free and that's when you can use it to catch up. But if you've done your planning, so you have some goals in the sense of I want to get better at this particular topic or I want to finish reading this particular book, something like that, then you have something that you can um, turn into either a shorter study period or a longer study period depending on how your time is available to you depending on the conditions really so that's the idea for today don't get too worried if you have a day rather like today where we could say really it's a bit of a washout you can't do much on a day like today um, but have prepared at least some part of your task you need to do that you can do for these old spare five ten minutes um, because at least then you've done something and you can feel well okay look I mean I, I managed something at least because you kept the discipline you kept the promise to yourself to do that for today at least and then tomorrow when the weather improves you can do a bit more so I hope that one's helpful I hope that inspires you a little bit déjame saber como siempre en los comentarios for now, from Medellin, we'll say cheerio.